Hi, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest, and the subject of today's video is adding hot water to a cold water jetter via a hot box. This uh, is the Brute Hot Box, and what this is basically is a tankless water heater that can handle high pressure water. So this can take water from the pump on the jetter, heat it before it gets to the hose and the nozzle on the jetter. So basically it works in line between a pump and a hose reel. And we generally set it up to just work off of quick couplers so you can connect it in on jobs where you need it and connect without it on jobs where you do not need it. So application, why would you want to add a hot box in a jetting job? Um, the number one most obvious thing is thawing out frozen lines. Uh, seasonally, when you run into frozen pipe, using hot water right on that ice blockage definitely speeds up the cleaning process and breaking out those ice plugs. Uh, another application, of course, is grease. Uh, especially, a lot of you guys maybe have bigger jetters and you have nice grease heads that'll annihilate grease under high flow and high pressure. But on smaller lines, you put on your mini hose and it moves much slower. A hot box really can help those mini hoses make shorter work of tough grease blockages in small lines. And third application, some of you guys pressure wash as an augment to your jetting jobs and pressure washing grime with surface cleaning with a gun and a wand using hot water really speeds up that process. So next thing I'll do is show you the connections. Okay, now we're standing here with our 3012 Brute. Uh, this is 12 gallons a minute, 3000 PSI. And I'll show you how we make the connections to add hot water. What we have on these units is a simple quick coupler between the hose from the pump or the pressure system to the jetting hose reel. So I've just disconnected that. I'm gonna connect into the hot box so that I'll send water to and through the hot box. And as it exits the hot box, this is the discharge line. Now I connect that into the jetter's hose reel. Now I'm gonna take cold water from my jetter, flash heat it with the hot box, and it'll heat the water as it's entering my hose and of course the nozzle. Now one thing nice about this is the hot box is set up to heat on demand. What do I mean by that? If I'm jetting and there's flow, the flow switch on the jetter is gonna turn the burner on. If I stop jetting and stop flow, the flow switch on the burner will kill the flow and kill the heat, is what I mean. If I'm using a wireless remote control, if I'm jetting, the heater's gonna kick on and fire. If I stop jetting, it'll stop the heater. So now we've made our connections. Let's get jetting and show you what hot water jetting looks like with the Brute hot box. Okay, now you can see that we've got the hoses connected to the hot box and out of the hot box back to the jetter. And so the next step is we turn the hot box on. The hot box runs on 110 volt power, only draws like five amps. Um, so pretty much anything, even a tiny generator can power up the hot box. The fire is from any kind of home oil, heating oil, diesel, of course the most common, kerosene, fuel oil is what ignites and does the heating. So now the blower is on, but of course the fire is not on because we have no flow. So let's start up our jetter. Bring it up to pressure and create some flow. Immediately the fire is lit, so it's burning right now. With this jetter running about 12 gallons a minute, it's gonna get up to about 120 degrees. The lower the flow from there, say like a nine gallon a minute jetter would get up 140, 150, depending on the incoming temperature of the incoming water. A lower flow nozzle like on a mini hose would get to an even higher temperature yet. Again, as I stop the flow, the ignition stops. When I start the flow again, the ignition starts. Okay, earlier I mentioned you can feed hot water to a mini hose using the hot box. 
And I'm going to show you the simple way to do that is downstream of the jetter entirely. This is a simple connection because we don't need to make any break point before the hose reel. We're going to do it after. So I've added a quick coupler to the end of the jetting hose. A lot of you guys uh, already use these type of adapters for going into a mini hose or a portable hose reel or something, pressure wash gun. So again, I go from the jetter to the hot box. It's gonna go through the hot box, send hot water here. I'm gonna connect this in to the mini hose. What I've got here is our bronze flex trap jetting hose that has the grease hog nozzle on, which is a rotating, slightly controlled speed nozzle, especially for grease. So let's do some hot water jetting. Turn the burner on. Fire up the jetter. What I did there is I turned the burner off so that we could run cold water through the heater and kind of cool everything down a bit before we shut off. There you have it, jetting with the mini hose. Again, a nice application for adding power to grease nozzles, especially for mini lines in the two inch or these, those tough indoor grease lines. Again, this is Steve Jones with Jetters Northwest. Thanks so much for watching today. Check out more of our videos on our YouTube site. Just search Jetters Northwest and check out our website jettersnorthwest.com. Thanks again and happy jetting.